Year 202 of the Rakanian calendar. Somewhere close to the Fako Mungo Peninsula, a raging battle takes place. <laughs> Filthy creatures rose from the pits of the underworld and destroyed a peaceful small town. It was a bloodbath. Even the police force couldn't do anything. The municipality and mayor had to request the council of the Ten Houses, the immediate deployment of the Cone Jake Squadron, also known as the Outlaws. This task just seven were being deployed. The Count Jakes are not just known for their enormous mystical powers, but have been labelled by the Rune and Rhea communities as children of Anubis, or chaos if one may put it that way. The trucks arrives at the borderline, at the entrance of the town. Five females comes out of the truck, all in shackles, which seem to suppress their mystical auras. Sergeant Baron Julius Molu, a relative to one of the main houses, is in charge of this mission. He notices the last outlaw isn't out, and orders him to do so, or else. He knows well, what will happen with what's around his neck. This one was asleep, one female outlaws, wakes him up, and he comes out. This last Count Jake was no other than Dre, now named Audrey Indigo, and code-named, the bloody, berserk, Taurus Soul Ripper. How on earth did he end here? And why the name change? Next, the final part of the prologue road to origin. The strings of fate and destiny are in motion. Oh, no.